I'm Chef Alex Page and this is Dishing Up Durham, brought to you by Durham Tourism. I have been featuring an amazing uh, local business here in Durham, Nostalgica Foods by Lena. She's an Ajax, uh, so nice, and her products are incredible. So Lena makes a range of premixed doughs, pizza dough and this mini panini dough, and it is gluten-free, grain-free, nut-free, wheat-free, and dairy-free. So with this mix, you can make these little buns, but I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I am going to make a vegan dish completely this time, but we are going to do a butternut squash and black bean curried pot pie. So a whole bunch of really warming, comforting items, you know, coconut milk, butternut squash, black beans, ginger, garlic, all done in a skillet. And then we are going to top with the panini mix. Let's do it. Let's dish it up. So first thing we wanna do is get a cast iron skillet smoking hot. And we are gonna do everything in the skillet. I've chopped up some butternut squash. So we're gonna hit our pan with a bit of oil. And once it's hot, we add that squash in. You could roast the squash, but I really like doing it in the pan. You get more caramelization and it keeps the recipe one pot, one pan. Squash is going in. Music. Now, the trick here, once that's in that pan, don't stir it, don't flip it, don't shake it around, let it caramelize. Let's build that flavor. So take a look, we're starting to get really nice color on this squash. So once your squash has picked up, like look at that, yes. That beautiful color. I've turned the heat down to medium. And we're just gonna go ahead and add in some diced onion some thinly sliced garlic and some minced ginger. And I've lowered that down to medium so we don't burn it. We're just gonna stir that through and cook it for a couple of minutes. So if that's not already smelling good enough with all that garlic, the ginger, the onion, get ready to party. We are going in with some Pataks Tikka Masala paste. When you're going with a pre-made curry paste, do not get the store branded ones. Go with something really good like Pataks, I put a lot, like I have three tablespoons or more, right? And let that cook that out for a minute. Woo! That smells incredible. So next, uh, we just cook that curry paste out for about a minute or so, right? And now what we want to do is add in one can of full fat coconut milk. And I like to, you can give the uh, can a little rinse and add in some water. And then I'm gonna add in one can of drained and rinsed black beans. I'm gonna stir all this together in really low heat, just a really gentle simmer. Something floating around in the kitchen. We don't wanna reduce it too much because it will reduce in the oven when we cook it. So after about 10 to 15 minutes, this looks amazing. The smell is unreal. We check for seasoning. Mm. Mm. So I have taken the Nostalgica mini panini mix, really simple, an egg, a bit of olive oil and some cold water. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna divide this into eight little balls that I'm gonna roll up. We're gonna put it right on top of the skillet and then put that in the oven at 350 for about 40 minutes. Check this out. It has just come out of the oven. The biscuits are golden. That curry is bubbling. And I'm just gonna finish it. A bit of fresh herbs. Uh, you could use cilantro, parsley. I actually had some tarragon, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use that. I mean, come on. 
Now, I lied. I said it was vegan, and I just realized I cracked an egg into the dough. Uh, but Lena has provided uh, the recipe for a flax egg, which is just flax and water, which you can use to make the biscuits. So yes, you can totally make this vegan. It smells phenomenal. It looks delicious. I'm gonna have a bite. Oh my God. Oh. You have to try this. Check it out. Be sure to follow Lena. Uh, her handle is Nostalgica Foods. <clears throat> make this. Stay tuned. I have another great feature coming up for you. I'm so excited for the next one. I can't wait to share it with you. Keep dishing up dirt.